So you have seen about the colligative properties, the relative lowering in vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure. So the colligative property is directly proportional to the number of species. Since ionic compounds dissociates and the number of species increases, hence colligative property increases, so the molecular mass which is determined through this comes out to be generally less than the theoretical value. For example, in the case of NaCl, it gives you two ions, sodium ions and the chloride ions. So generally the molecular mass is half the theoretical value. In the same way, compounds like acetic acid, when dissolved in benzene, exist as dimer due to the formation of hydrogen bond. Once again, the species decreases. So the colligative property is less than the theoretical value and molecular mass is more than the theoretical value. This abnormality in molecular mass is given by want of factor I, which is the ratio of the number of species present upon taken. That is to say, if the value of I is less than 1, then association occurs, and if I is greater than 1, dissociation occurs. If, let us take another example, for example, KCl, CaCl2, Ca3PO4 hold twice. If we take equimolar amounts of these, then the colligative property should be same. But in actual practice, the colligative property in this case is more for calcium phosphate because in the case of calcium phosphate, there are five ions. Whereas in calcium chloride, there are three ions. And in potassium chloride, there are two ions. So although they are equimolar, but they are not isotonic due to this reason. You can get the question that out of these, which of the following will exhibit the maximum molecular mass, uh, which of the following will show maximum deviation, then the answer will be calcium phosphate because the number of species are more. He can also ask you what is the degree of dissociation. By, uh, uh, for example, alpha is the degree of dissociation. Then the alpha will be equal to N, uh, <coughs> now, since we, do, we know that the number of species actually present are different from the number of species taken, so this abnormality in molecular mass is given by want of factor I, which is the ratio of the number of species actually present to the number of species taken. Let us take the example of CrCl36H2O. If 0.1 molar solution has been provided to you and it has the freezing point 0.186, then calculate how many species of this exist in the solution or what is the value of I. You see delta Tf observed will be equal to I into Kf into M. Now delta Tf observed comes out to be 0.372. Now the value of I will be 2. It means when this is dissolved in water, there are two species present in water. So it can have the formula CrCl2 H2O whole 4 within brackets. Cl and 2H2O. Now dear students, the various questions which you can put forward to you is what are the possible isomers of this compound? Number one. Number two, what type of isomerism will it show? There can be a choice of ionization isomerism. Then the third thing you can ask is which of the following geometrical isomers of this compound are possible? So in this way, you can correlate the topic of coordination compound with that of solution. And this can be an application type question which can be asked from you. So dear students, from the colligative properties we have seen that as the number of species changes, there is change in the, uh, in the molecular mass of the substances. You must keep in mind that it is only the pure solvent which freezes. For example, a solution of urea is given to you, then if the solution is freezed, the crystals which will first appear will be of number one, pure solvent, only urea, both will freeze, equimolar amount of the two will freeze. In this case, it is the pure solvent which will freeze because the crystals which appear is of water only. The pure solvent always freezes first. So this is the correct answer. Now, second question, to an aqueous solution of Ki, 0.1 mole of HgI2 has been added. What will happen to the freezing point now? You very well know that Ki reacts with HgI2 to form K2HgI4. So, 
four species of ki two of potassium two of iodide has given you three species as a result the freezing point is raised no doubt in case we keep it in mind we will see that the number of species has been increased but in actual practice the number of species has decreased due to the formation of complex so the exact answer is the freezing point is raised please keep in mind that it is not that whenever we are adding the solute the freezing point will always be lowered you have to see that if it is forming a complex then the freezing point will be lowered again we can take the example of kcn at agcn it also forms a complex k agcn hold twice so whenever you are answering such questions you see whether the substance which has been added forms a complex if it forms a complex then the freezing point will not be lowered rather it will be raised